Yo, 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 oh. <laughs> yo, are you ready for a pro tip? I got a pro tip for you. If you're into streaming, gaming, just being a creator, one of those productivity nuts, you may have already heard of the Stream Deck. Well, if you happen to be a Stream Deck owner, have I got a pro tip for you. You want to know what it is? Stick around and welcome to Doc Rock Tips. <music> Aloha internet people! Welcome to Doc Rock Tips. I am Doc Rock and today is Pro Tip Day. I don't know why today, but I just picked the day so that's what it is. All right, listen, if you've seen any of the last couple of videos I've made, you know I have been absolutely cracking out on Ecamm. And one of the things you have to do when you crack out on a piece of software is absorb all the resources necessary to make it worth your time. So I've been in uh, this incredible like seminar where I'm learning things about how to do the live streams better. So get ready for more streams if you haven't already done so. Make sure, make sure if you haven't already done so, you click down and subscribe so you know when I go live because I get live. Anyway, I got a pro tip for you. I happen to own a stream deck. Most streamers out there, a lot of the creators, a lot of the gamers, a lot of people have stream decks. And normally what you use them for is something like switching your applications like an Ecamm, like so. If you happen to be one of those folks, have I got something cool to show you. I wanna show you that in cracking out on Ecamm lately and learning all of these resources, I happen to have made some shortcuts that makes it easier to get to my resources. You see, so now when I press a button like this, my screen turns into something like this. Okay, I have another one. I wanna go to the main Ecamm Live group. Boom, press a button, it loads that group. I need to go into the beta group or I wanna check on next seminars popping up in like 10 minutes here on Leap in the Live Stream. Press a button, get straight to that group, you see? So what's really cool is I have these buttons laid out to take me to many of my various resources that I use in order to get better at Ecamm. So instead of having to go to bookmarks or pull down my bookmark button, whatever, just create yourself a page inside the Stream Deck profile creator. Let me show you how that is done. So over here in the Stream Deck application, all you need to do is go over to where you see system and grab something like website and say, throw a button right over here. Now, one of the cool things that I learned about in my um, training was learning about ClickUp. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the URL for ClickUp in here. That's command B and it's paste, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and type ClickUp. I'm gonna just put CLU for ClickUp and then I can increase my font size on the button and last i want to fix this icon so i'm going to grab the icon and just drop it over here and then boom once the icon is dropped in there's my button i think i want to capitalize that okay and then i like the button sort of where it is but if you want you can you know zoom up the letters this way and place the letters where you want actually i kind of like it there in the middle so let's go a little bigger and now let me switch back so you can see if i press this button here you see i have it loaded and then on my computer it loads the click up page and let me jump over to that real quick and then so you can see there the page is loaded so what's really cool is this is a great way to get back and forth to all of the resources as as you're learning all this stuff rather than having to hit bookmarks or you know find the same pages over and over again or jump back to a space where you weren't if you're using it a lot just go ahead and make yourself a hot key button inside your stream deck and then when you're using your stream deck just press a button takes you straight to your page and good to go action is there see pro tip and what a time saver it only took a couple of minutes now like i said before if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the page hit the like button hit the little bell so you're notified when i hit something new i hope this was quick and dirty and it's something that helps you out 
If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them for me in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Aloha. Peace.